Hello, welcome back. And look what I've got. My first flying monkey totes box. And I first saw this box quite a while ago on Drew Mermaid's channel. It's a box I've always wanted to get. Um, she does gorgeous Samhain boxes that she, I mean, Sabbat boxes that she hand paints. She's so talented. And I'm so excited to finally get my first one. This is the medium crystals in a pot of tea box. And this is a birthday present from my amazing friend, Lori, over at Petey Pie Designs. Thank you again, Lori. You have no idea how much I appreciate your friendship. We've grown very close and she's just an amazing friend. I call her the comedic crafter. She's always got me cracking up and I'm just really grateful for such an amazing gift. And I wanted to pick something that was crystals because, uh, you know, she wanted to get me one of my, a box of, you know, she knows how much I love subscription boxes and I wanted it to be crystal related because, you know, sometimes with subscription boxes, you know, they can't please everybody, you know, 100% of their, um, customers 100% of the time. It is possible sometimes you're going to get something you don't care for or that maybe is beautiful but you won't use. And I, since this was a gift, I wanted it to be something I'd cherish forever. And we all know I love my crystals and I will cherish them forever. So that's why I wanted it to be a crystal box. And so here we've got, isn't it ironic? <laughs> Alanis Morissette and the Flying Monkey Totes um y'all the word just went out of my head they're you know logo that's it here's a bigger one and again some Hello Kitty oh look at this dragon is that a dragon well look at this beautiful sticker and we got the peace sign that's tie-dyed in this funny little dude so let's get this opened. I didn't know it was delivered today. I was at work. I got home from work. I was in a lot of pain. But I had a, you know, this was here. And I was so excited. But I couldn't come in here to open it right away. Because I, uh, I was in too much pain. I had to take some pain medicine and lay down for a while. And it was so hard to lay there and patiently wait. I was very impatient about it because I wanted to get into it so bad. Let me get this open. Almost there, guys. I don't know how she got this in this bag. <laughs> it is tight, but she did it. I wonder how long it took her to get that in there. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. This is heavy, too, for this size box. That's a good sign. <laughs> and again, we have her logo. Here we go. It's just a phase. Aww. Oh, Sarah, thank you so much. I know I'm going to love anything you chose to put in here. And then she loves to do these little envelopes with stickers inside of it. And I love this sticker on the front. It is super cool. Do you all see that? Oh, and I've got my new letter opener from my recent trip. It's not enough space for it to get in there, though. Okay. I see what everybody means. It's hard to get into these little babies. She likes to seal them up nice and tight. 
That's okay. We'll get it. There we go. I'm going to use my scissors. All right. That worked a little better. Oh, and here's her card to share. Flying monkey totes. In case any of you that don't know about this company yet are interested in checking out her website, let her know Misty sent you because she's amazing. I love this 70s vibe dragonfly. I'm not much of a 70s vibe person. However, I love that one, <laughs> that sticker. Oh my, it's really hot in here. Beautiful mandala. Perfect for me. Oh yes, a gorgeous Hamsa hand. Again, perfect sticker for me. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Look at this bat with this rainbow. And it's all holographic as you turn it. I don't know if that's showing up, but that is so cool. And our last one is magic mushrooms with an adorable little snail on top love those stickers all right can i find the remote for the fan i have project stuff everywhere here it is let's turn that on i'm sorry y'all i am getting really hot Okay, and here is our list of what we got. I want to try not to see the labels. Oh, yes. Dark chocolate coconut from Russell Stover. Yum. And a mint patty from Russell Stover. And I was so bummed at work today. Uh, I buy the sugar-free ch dark chocolate at work. And it's so good especially for being sugar-free, you know, but man, we have been sold out for weeks. So thank you for these chocolates. And I don't care if they're sugar-free or not, I'm eating them because I needed chocolate in my life. <laughs> and this little pug playing dressed up to play soccer is so cute. House of Dorchester fine chocolate. Ooh, yes, a little chocolate bar. I'm eating one as soon as we're done here. Uh oh, I didn't see it, but I can see that there are words here and here. So we're going to turn those over. And this one has words shown, so we're going to turn that over. Okay, I think we're safe. And we have Tibetan agar body or agar body sticks. Oh, this is a new one to me. Let's smell these. Ooh, oh, I, I dumped all the powder out. My bad. These smell good. Yes. That is awesome. I must have a stick sticking up. I can't hear. I'll close it later. <laughs> no sense fighting with that right now. Oop, I see more words. Oh, this actually might be... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a Dragon's Blood Palo Santo. I was like, maybe this is the candles. I have a Dragon's Blood Palo Santo, and I love it. And it's almost gone, so... Oh, I'm going to leave that in there so it all doesn't come off. But just so you can see, it's a stick of Palo Santo dipped in dragon's blood. Another thing I love. I see stickers. Oh, I love her. It's a lady in a yoga pose with the chakras. All right. So we have this super cute little sachet here with look at this uh 
little cat charm with the neon green. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna set the box aside. This is so exciting. Sorry I'm going slow, guys. I told you I had to take some pain medicine in order to be able to sit up to come in here and open this so and I have two other boxes that came that I'm going to film right after this but you know this had to be the first one okay and I love this sachet with the stars and moons beautiful my little magical scissors. Oh yes, I wanted this so bad. Thank you so much, Sarah. Audrey um, from Odds and Ends here on YouTube got one of these. And everybody always says, you can let Sarah know if there's something you're looking for. You know, if she has it, she's, you know, her customer service is amazing. Put it that way. And I always, always wanted a Labradorite necklace like this. And so I put in there, you know, like, hey, if you happen to have any more of those. <laughs> and she did. Look at this. I am so excited. Look how gorgeous that is. I mean, it's got flash across the whole pendant. Wow, and even the back. That is a gorgeous piece of Labradorite and I'm so excited to have it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Sarah. Wow, I'm sorry y'all, I keep staring at it. I'm just so excited. Oh, that was so awesome. I felt awkward asking, you know, um, but at the last minute, you know, I almost did it. And at the last minute, I was like, what does it hurt? You know, and I'm so glad I did because now I have this gorgeous beauty. Well, you can see it flashing just sitting there. <laughs> How awesome. And now we have another adorable little baggie, this time with... A jack-o'-lantern charm that's got a little witch's hat. <sighs> I'm already so happy. I don't even know what the rest of anything is, but I can tell you right now that I love this box because I wanted one of those for so long. Years. I've wanted a Labradorite necklace for years. And one has never found its way to me until today. We have some cute little teeny tinies in here. Look at them. Let's go. Little to big. Like, I mean, seriously, I think it's so cute that she wrapped these little tinies. sunstone. I don't need to keep that label. I knew what this one was. But look at it. So it's a is this a Merkaba? Or is this a different shape? I don't remember. This is the one that's the X's though. But and it's raw sunstone unpolished but you can still see it's got flash. Let me see if I can So you see the orange parts, they still sparkle and shine. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Look at that. Beautiful. 
I have to look it up. I can't remember if that's a Merkaba or if that's a, a different uh, sh shape. Oh, wow. I can see that piece right there is flashing at me. It's a flashing. I totally just cut the label, whatever it is. But let me set it aside before I see it. Oh, what are you? Oh my gosh, yes, it's a little baby tiny dragon. Sarah, I don't know if you, well, you probably don't know, because you probably, I don't even know if she's going to see this video, let alone any of my others. But y'all know, I have been getting a little crystal dragon collection. And this is beautiful. I am so excited to add another one. And this one, my other ones are dragon heads. And this is the whole dragon body, which is really cool because I don't have one like this. And it's so beautiful. Um, I think my guess would be Crazy Lace Agate. There's not a whole lot of lines in it, but the coloring kind of also reminds me of that. Oh, it's yellow jade. Perfect for a dragon, right? Oh, I love him. I'm just moving everything around here. <laughs> he is so cute. And our next one. Oh my gosh, I love this box so much. So after October, I've canceled most of my boxes because I have had to cut back at my part-time job. But now I know what everybody means about they do whatever they can to try to still be able to keep this box even when they have to cut back others. Yeah, I'm going to have to try to make that happen. I told myself no more crystals. I'm on a crystal buying ban because I have been collecting since I'm nine. So can you imagine how many crystals I have? But I had to get this box at least once, especially because, you know, I already explained about why I chose a crystal box for my friend Lori. But y'all, I might not be able to resist getting this box in the future. I might not be able to. I love it so much already. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a gorgeous, oh, I was gonna say red tiger's eye. And it does say tiger's eye. But it's a gorgeous red tiger's eye with like stripes of the blue. Do you see that? A little baby sphere. I also have a collection of little baby spheres, which nobody knows that either. It's just, I just am finding it really funny, the pieces that she selected to put in my box, not knowing me, and already, you know, I did ask for this one, but it's amazing, and I'm grateful that she sent me one, and then with the dragon, and now I have this sphere collection, ooh, and there's a band of hematite right there, which makes this a little bit, like, Oh my gosh, do you guys see the ripples? I've got to stand up to see if y'all can see. This is a stunning piece. Do you see those spiral ripples? How gorgeous is that? And then you can see the red and the blue stripes, you know, going through it. This is a stunning piece. Wow. I am so excited. Thank you so much, Sarah. This right here is enough to just make my day. <laughs> and then there's more. <laughs> oh my gosh, where do we go next? Um, let me wipe the, uh, incense dust off of this one. It's green, so green is a color I love. I love green crystals. I love all crystals, let's be real, but I'm excited to see which green crystal this is. Oh 
Oh my, this is so stunning. Wow. Wow, this is, oh my, I, I was looking at the back, y'all, and I was in love, but look at this. It kind of looks like pre night to me. However, it also does look like epidote and quartz. Um, also, what is the other one? There's another one. I have a teeny tiny chloride. I think it's chloride and quartz is also green. But I feel like the chloride isn't a solid green how this is. But this is stunning. And we have, you know, the lighter green and the darker green. And it's just one big old cluster. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I love the feel of this one too. It goes, I can feel it in my heart, which makes sense because green, you know, is a heart chakra color. Let's see what it is. Raw pre night. That was my first thought, but then I thought, you know, it really could be some other things. Some pre nights I've seen are a little more, what is the word, like bubbly looking? So I wasn't sure. I am so excited to have that. Pre night is the healer stone, it heals the healer. Mm. I love this so much. I don't want to put it down. The feel of it is amazing. Like, I, I feel it right in my chest. Whoa. <laughs> that kind of brought tears to my eyes. The feeling that I felt in my chest from this is <laughs> pretty amazing. I don't even know what to say right now about that. We'll move on, but that's amazing. Um, where do we, which one next, guys? I don't know. Okay. Oh, I found the pot of tea. I just picked it because I, I thought it was a crystal. It was like that. Oh, I'm so excited. So for those that don't know this box, she, I think they're homemade blends of teas that she creates and the flavors sound amazing. I'm so excited to see what flavor I got. My best friend is in town and Monday night is movie night. So we can have our tea. Chocolate tea, black tea, dark chocolate, vanilla extract, caffeinated. Okay, so this one's not for movie night because of the caffeine. However, Tuesday morning after movie night when I got to go to work and I was up late and I'm dead tired, this is going to be a perfect pick-me-up, right? So, Tuesday morning is for this tea. Oh, I almost saw a word. Flip that over real quick. Okay, ah, I'm knocking stuff everywhere. Let's just go smallest. Sorry, I'm having a hard time deciding which one to open. Oh, it's a carving of some sort. Oh, it's a crystal skull. I only have one. My The one I have is a little baby quartz. And he's gorgeous. But look at this one. He is gorgeous. Wow. Is this dragon's blood or um, bloodstone? It kind of seems more like dragon's blood to me over blood stone but either way it doesn't matter he's gorgeous look at him oh we gotta come up with a name for this guy oh this is so beautiful oh i love him thank you oh yeah let's see what he is where is this thing at here it is 
Dragon's Blood Jasper. Oh, I love him so much. This box is amazing. Oh, no. Okay, I flipped it over just in time. I did see a B. It does start with a B, but I didn't see the whole name. I just picked it up and wasn't thinking, and I had flipped it over when I, you know, after I picked it up when I was bringing it over. I guess would have been pyrite, but I thought it started with a B. What well, looks like pyrite? And it's it's like a nugget. It's like a gold nugget, right? What starts with it? Okay, let's just look because I'll be honest. I don't know what starts with a B and looks like pyrite. Boronite. Okay, can we peel the sticker off? I want to put the sticker on the bottom because I'm, this is, I've heard of Bornite before, but I'm not super familiar with it and I don't want to forget. I'll deal with that later. <laughs> it's so cute. It's a Bornite nugget. Oh, I love it. That is so cool and unique and different. Something I definitely don't have. I don't have any of this. Yes, I own Labradorite, I own Sunstone, and I own Tiger's Eye. Ah! But I definitely don't have them in these forms, these gorgeous specimens here. This is such an amazing box. Oh, this is heavy. The box, I took it out of the box, and the box almost flipped over and fell off my desk. This is an amazing box, y'all. And this is only the medium. Can you imagine getting the large? Well, yes, some of y'all can, because some of y'all do get the large, but. Oh, it's a gorgeous piece of black tourmaline with mica. And I don't, this isn't mica right here. This is maybe calcite. Wow, it's just encrusted. And this is something else entirely right here. You guys, look at this. So, let's start with the black tourmaline side. I want you guys to get a really good look. And it is just fully encrusted with mica. And I feel like a couple other types of things as well. Look at that. Is that not stunning? Get a close-up look of that. Oh, that is the mica, but it's the mica, sheets of mica, but I think it's the edges of them. They're kind of standing up to where you're seeing the edges. So I think that might be mica still there. I wondered about this little baby, cute little baby. Looks like a little crystal right there that doesn't seem like mica. And I know calcite can grow on, sometimes on tourmaline too. So, wow. <laughs> That is a gorgeous, amazing piece. Okay, where are we putting this guy? Right there. All right, one more left, I believe. Yep, yeah. we're down to the last one. And it's big and flat. Interesting. Seems, oh, oh, it may not be a crystal. It may not be a crystal because there's no label or it is, but she just tells us what it is in the paper. It's a coaster. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, I love that. 
What a beautiful coaster. I don't even have a coaster, so I'm so excited. That'll be for my teacup from now on. Yes, I love it. Look at this stunning box, you guys. Okay. I don't think it is absolutely at all possible for me to pick a favorite or a top three even. I love each and every one of these pieces so much for different reasons. I'm so excited to have every single one of these pieces. But I do want to hear what your favorites down below. When you saw me opening these, did one of them just call to you much more than the others? Um... I think, okay, if I was forced to pick a favorite, I love him so much, but I think normally I would maybe pick him, but the way this one f made me feel when I hold it, that I think put this, tops this one up over the others a little bit, but man, he is stunning. I mean, he is gorgeous. And this is such a cool, awesome piece that I'm so excited to have. And then you all already know how much I love these other pieces. And this is completely new to me. Uh, I don't know. Can I just say they're all my favorite and leave it at that? <laughs> um, you guys tell me. Oh, shoot. My bad. I should look at this just to make sure there's nothing I should tell you guys a little more. Black Charmaine and Micah and Matrix. I won't read what it's all, what they're all good for because I know I've blabbered on for a while now. And then we have our Polished Born Eye. I will read this because this is something that might be new to you guys as well. A particularly powerful healing stone. Born Eye emits a cheerful, joyous, and optimistic energy. If you're having a bad day, carry Born Eye to elevate your mood and turn your frown upside down. How cute is that? This baby's going on my work desk. Our dragon's blood Jasper skull. Gorgeous. I love him so much. Our raw preonite specimen. Y'all already know how much I love that. Mm. Oh yeah, look. I said it's this is the healer stone to heal the healer. And she says, uh, this gentle and nurturing stone emits a healing energy that is well suited for healing practitioners. My minis, my yellow tree dragon, my sunstone Merkaba. I was right. Yes, I wasn't sure if I was right about what that was called. And my red tiger's eye sphere jewelry. We've got the labradorite pendant. Apothecary. We have chocolate tea. Our Tibetan. Oh, I've, I've knocked these all off the table. Um, our Tibetan agar, agar body sticks. I don't know how to say that right. And our Dragon's Blood Coated Palo Santo. Miscellaneous Ceramic Witch Coaster and our Stickers and Chocolate. And as always, it's personalized Misty's Crystal Box. Thank you so much, Sarah. This was an amazing, amazing box. And thank you again to Lori, who, if it wasn't for her, I would have not gotten to experience this. And this was amazing. So love all of you, and I hope you all have a magical night. Bye.